What's up, family? We have some breaking information regarding our Social Security recipients that we need to be aware of. For starters, we have new cuts that are likely headed our way. Take a look at this right here where we have five specific expenses that retirees need to stop paying for. In addition, we also have an interesting comment made by the former governor, Chris Christie, in which he says changes to the Social Security program are necessary. I've got the details to share with you in just a moment, but before we get started, you already know what to do. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, guys, I do want to go ahead and give you a little bit of an update in regards to the uh, tropical storm, formerly known as the hurricane, uh, that is pretty much landing on the West Coast, headed directly towards California. Uh, yes, guys, it has made landfall. This is Hurricane Hillary, and it has nothing to do with the former uh, president's wife, Hillary Clinton. But uh, anyways, guys, California officials are warning this could be the worst of the storm has yet to come as Hillary continues to make landfall as on Sunday as of right now guys there have been a lot of flooding going on and actually guys we had a shocker information right here where an actual earthquake ended up hitting Southern California which is bringing crazy amounts of rain towards this particular area which is putting the risk of having mudslides and things like that so uh, if you are over there in California or any of our friends you know of uh, we definitely want to keep this in mind guys but this particular earthquake guys it wasn't a small one guys it was actually 5.1 magnitude earthquake and it ended up striking Southern California Ventura County on Sunday afternoon guys one of the actual alerts that those individuals in California are actually receiving as you can see right here guys it ended up happening at 244 this was Pacific time and it says that emergency alert uh, earthquake detected drop cover hold on protect yourself uh, yes guys this was the actual earthquake alert so uh, things are getting a little bit crazy over there guys and and in addition to that, guys, there have been more than 1,000 flights being canceled due to this hurricane slash tropical storm Hillary. So again, guys, we definitely want to keep those in our prayers that live in California in the southern area. Hopefully, guys, we don't have to uh, result in any types of loss of deaths or anything like that size. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you an update on that storm right there. But uh, moving on, guys, we do need to go ahead and talk about these cuts that they are talking about for our Social Security program, as well as Medicare, guys. Uh, right here, you can see where we get a comment directly from the former governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie. And which he said that, look, Social Security and Medicare cuts are a necessary political risk in today's economy. Well, guys, what exactly does he mean by this? Well, he said it's time to take a political risk and consider changes to Social Security and Medicare benefits for young people. Uh, yes, guys, changes to the program are necessary. Otherwise, they could run out of money for everyone in about a decade as the country continues to face a rising national debt, uh, according to the presidential candidate, Chris Christie, in which he put out a statement and said, look, the most disgusting part of Joe Biden's State of the Union address this year was when he stood up and he said, well, we'll all agree, right? We're not going to do anything to Social Security. And both sides got up and cheered. But anyways, guys, there is a group of liars and cowards because they know that in 10 years, Medicare will be bankrupt. And in 11 years, Social Security will be bankrupt. The fund behind Social Security is on track to become insolvent in about a decade, according to the federal analysis. And if that happens, it can only play out the amount of money it receives, meaning that the average benefit would be reduced significantly. A study from the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget this week found that benefits for the average retired couple would drop by more than $17,000 per year if the fund becomes insolvent in the year of 2033, as it is projected. But the former governor, Chris Christie, proposed raising the benefit eligibility age for Americans currently under 50 years old, changes only affecting younger people People would give them time to plan more. He said that, look, we can make real savings over the long term by playing with eligibility age, according to Christie. He also called eligibility change as a necessary conversation that has scared Republicans in the past and in a non-starter for the Democrats. We have got to have this conversation, he said. And other than me, nobody in this race is willing to talk about it. It's ridiculous, Christie said. The former governor also opposed means testing for benefits, meaning that only people under a certain income threshold would be eligible to receive them.
him. He didn't specify whether that eligibility threshold would be in his plan as he continues to apply for the 2024 presidential race. So, but anyways, guys, uh, yes, Chris Christie said that this is a necessary evil and it must be discussed. The problem is that out of all the candidates right now, none of them want to talk about it, which is very shocking because uh, apparently uh, the current president, Joe Biden, is wanting to run for the next president as well, but he's not talking about Social Security as well. So again, guys, I do agree with this. There has to be something done because uh, right now, guys, the pace that we are on, the trust fund is going to run out of money. There is no way to avoid that. And according to the former governor, uh, this needs to be a conversation that we need to have right now versus later. We cannot wait till later. We have got to make the changes right now, put them into place so that we can get started, get the snowball running in regards to fixing Social Security as well as Medicare. We have got to do something about it, guys. What do you think about this? Do you think, uh, do you agree with the former governor, Chris Christie, in regards to this is a political risk of not talking about Social Security and what to do about the insolvent program? Uh, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section, guys. I am curious to see how you feel about this. But in addition to that, in regards to uh, some other cuts that are should be made towards uh, Social Security or perhaps our retirees, uh, this particular article right here, guys, talks about uh, Social Security cuts are on the table. And here are five expenses that retirees should actually stop paying for this year in 2023, which probably also carries over into next year of 2024. But let's go ahead and go over them right now, guys. Uh, the first one on the list, it says that uh, retirees should not be focused on buying a second car. Uh, in this particular article, guys, it talks about uh, when one of your spouses has a car, you don't necessarily need a second car. You need to go ahead and save your money and not necessarily worry about having a second car because most likely both of you are not working and you can actually share that particular vehicle. So uh, anyways, guys, he said that juggling cars uh, is not necessarily a thing and it should not be for retirees. Uh, the second thing on the list is dining out. This is one of the things that uh, retirees should be trying to trim from their budget, not necessarily going out as much, but trying to eat at home a little bit more more and you know eating out on certain occasions or at least like one time a week i know me and my family we only eat out one time a week guys and i am far from being a retiree uh, but anyways guys in addition to that it says that impulse purchases uh, this is one thing right here it says that specifically in regards to uh, big ticket items like vacations or new electronics getting the latest iphone as a retiree uh, these are something that retirees should look towards removing from their budget as well well, especially as lawmakers are continuing to talk about Social Security cuts, which means that, uh, like the previous article talked about, that retirees could be uh, losing about $17,000 per year of the amount of money that they actually receive. And then also, guys, it talks about uh, having peak travel costs. I definitely agree with this, guys. I wish I could do the same, but I do have children in school. But retirees, they don't necessarily have this issue. So yes, retirees can actually do travel on non-peak time frames in which they can save a ton of money, especially for retirees traveling during the week. That is the best time, especially during the school season, in which the best prices, last minute discount offers are actually available. And then on top of that, you can probably get the senior citizens discount. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, that is another option right there. And then it says right here, which I'm not necessarily, I agree with this, but maybe so. A recent survey of around 1,000 parents with kids ages 18 to 42 years old found that more than half of them still help their adult children financially. So yes, guys, this should be another thing that uh, if you are potentially struggling or receiving social security, you probably don't want to be using your social security money to uh, fund and help out your children who are well over the age to be able to work one or two jobs or even three jobs. Uh, yes, guys, as it says right here, according to this particular study, a lot of uh, parents, grandparents are actually supporting their children who are in the 40s. That is shocking, guys. I know me, myself, I am in my 40s, but uh, no one is helping me and my wife and my family. So uh, anyways, guys, this is just a list of five things that retirees should be cutting out as they continue to prepare for potential uh, cuts towards Social Security. This could potentially impact those individuals that receive 
receive SSI, SSDI, uh, VA beneficiaries, and all of the above, our seniors, as well as our elderly individuals. Uh, we could see these cuts coming down uh, by the end of this year or even next year, especially as we move towards uh, the next presidential election. So uh, anyways, guys, what do you think about this particular list? Are you participating in this or actually have you actually cut some of these items out of your budget as well, guys? If you have, kudos to you. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is just something to be mindful of and another way to save some of your money and not necessarily blow all your money in case uh, you do have up to $17,000 removed uh, from your Social Security benefits every single year. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope that information was helpful to you. And then last but not least, guys, we do want to talk about uh, Medicare Part D prescription drugs. They are telling us in this particular article right here that the pricing of the Medicare Part D prescription drugs, uh, they are actually outpacing inflation. Uh, yes, guys, these particular prices are going up much higher than we have saw over the past year or so in regards to the inflation in this country. Uh, that can't be good, guys. But according to a new report by AARP, they found that the top 25 drugs covered under Medicare Part D have almost tripled in the price since they were first entered the market. And they actually put out a list right here of the actual 25 drugs, guys, which I would try to go ahead and read these guys. But looking at the names, I'm probably going to be butchering every single one of them. But if you want to take a snapshot of this particular screen right here, uh, this exactly shows you of all these particular drugs. Maybe you are receiving one of them, but uh, it is good to know that uh, what how much these particular medications have actually gone up over the past 12 months or so. And just looking at this real quick, it looks like this particular drug that came out in the year of 2000 called Lantus, uh, it has gone up 739%. Uh, how can they even allow something to happen like this, guys? And then we also have Enbrel, which has gone up over 701%. And then Novolog uh, came out in 2000, which has gone up over 628%. Uh, this is crazy, guys. This is very shocking. I don't even know how insurance companies even allow this coming from Big Pharma. Uh, this is crazy, guys. But uh, I'm glad that we have this information. So uh, if you can work on your health, different things like that, then maybe you can improve the situation in which you might not necessarily need these drugs anymore, but that is not something that I specialize in talking about. So uh, anyways, guys, I'll just stay away from that comment altogether. But overall, guys, like I said, we have cuts coming our way. We don't necessarily know when, but we do need to have a discussion in regards to the Social Security program and how we can actually fix it moving forward. As you all know, Social Security could become insolvent by the year of 2033, which guys, if you look at my watch, we only have less than 10 years away another decade or so guys we have got to do something about it now versus later but anyways guys that is all i have for you today and i hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today well anyways guys that's all we have for you today but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description there are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash such as signing up for a walmart plus membership where if you use the referral link down below they are going to give you $20 additional on your first purchase. This is a great way for you to get some free money using the Walmart Plus membership. And if you don't like it after the first 30 days, you can easily cancel it. Also, don't forget about the Walmart Plus membership that if you receive any type of government assistance, such as WIC program, Medicare, Social Security, SSI, or anything like that, you can actually get the membership for half of the normal cost. This is a great savings if you uh, participate in those government assistance programs. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.